In the sweltering heat of 1904 Panama, something impossible was happening. Workers were dying, not from hard labor, but from a tiny, invisible enemy that no one understood. Dr. William Gorgas walked through the construction site of the Panama Canal, watching men collapse. Malaria and yellow fever were decimating thousands. Every day, ten workers died for every mile of canal constructed. Some days, the death toll reached forty. But Gorgas wasn't just watching. He was waging war against mosquitoes, an idea so radical that most engineers and politicians thought he was insane. While others saw insects as harmless nuisances, Gorgas believed they were deadly weapons. Using revolutionary theories from Cuban scientist Carlos Finley, Gorgas systematically eliminated mosquito breeding grounds. He ordered every standing water source drained. Workers painted tar on stagnant pools. They screened windows, cleaned gutters, and destroyed potential habitats. His methods seemed obsessive. Workers initially resisted, thinking his mosquito elimination was nonsense. But slowly, dramatically, death rates plummeted. Within two years, yellow fever disappeared completely from the canal zone. When the canal finally opened in 1914, Gorgas had fundamentally transformed medical understanding. His radical approach saved an estimated 71,000 lives. The impossible had become reality. Humans had defeated disease through precise, scientific intervention. Most remarkably, Gorgas transformed global health practices. His mosquito elimination strategy became a blueprint for fighting tropical diseases worldwide. Countries from Brazil to India adopted his methods, preventing countless deaths. The Panama Canal, once called the greatest engineering project in human history, was truly completed not by brute force, but by understanding a tiny winged killer. One man's obsessive vision had rewritten the rules of survival. Gorgas died in 1920, knowing he'd changed everything. His grave in Arlington National Cemetery stands as a monument to scientific courage, proof that understanding nature's smallest creatures can transform human destiny.